Welcome back. I'm actually doing something a little bit different here than usual. See, I'm recording post-commentary. I had a bit of a foster walk with my audio settings. Before that, I just want to point out that my wife had a baby just yeah, shot you. two weeks ago. So if and when you hear crying in the background, which is going to happen. If I don't go nice straight away, that's be not because I'm ignoring her and I'm just Things leaving my wife to deal with it. I have noise cancelling headphones on and I can't always hear. I do have my phone with me so she can text me if I don't hear properly, but sometimes that's not happening. Anyway, the audio problem. I actually have two audio devices for my system sounds. I have the system sounds themselves and I have the Razer Synapse which simulates a 7.1 surround sound with a stereo headset. For whatever reason, the Xtoria decided to set both of those as the, the sound hookups rather than setting Razer Synapse, which I usually use, and um, my mic, so... <coughs> it's addressed fairly soon, it's just over an hour of recording, but... Yeah. Fucking computers, hey. Don't usually like doing post commentary, and I'm not 100% sure why I'm doing it this time. I just said it's sad it, I will. So if you hear me rambling on with random rambliness, then I'll random the rambliness. I think the main reason I'm doing it for this game is because um, there are those uh, log things from Sean. Things that tell you about stuff in the air and I thought it'd be just easier to go through the whole thing rambling away with myself so I can read them out. I wanted to be Oh, you're crying! Now she really has something to cry Please, about. God, just let me well, live. okay, he has something to cry about and he just let her at the beach. I forgot I did that. <laughs> I do things like that sometimes because why not? I was trying to loot her off or something. What was I trying to do? Oh, I was trying to go into first person. Oh yeah, I went into first, tried to go into first person view because I think that character model was like Rebecca. Not exact, but pretty damn close. Yeah, I actually got almost nothing done. Do you remember how I was, at the end of the previous episode I said I was going to go and do that thing with the um, the brothel because there was something there I wanted to see. Well, fuck that. I'm just going to go rough and old random wander and see what's going on. I decided to go barge town instead. That's one of the Christina missions, by the way. I'll come back to that later. Uh, I, seriously, I thought they were in Assassin's Creed 2. Now, speaking of ice cream, I actually bought Assassin's Creed Revelations on Steam during uh, this year's Steam Winter Sale. Last year's, by the time you see this. No, it'll be this year's. It's coming up today. Oh, it's a... Uh, Theater. Oh, is this one of those ones where it went absolutely fucking bananas and went there from this massive fast one? Like, the third bird of foxes, bitches, man, bitches. Yeah, those thieves can be a pain in the sniff sometimes. Um, the reason I only recorded for an hour is because in the end I just rage quit because I was trying to chase after one. Yeah, I just got one on that one there. This one really is the, the dodgiest of them all and it's so bizarre as well because it works on the Assassin's Creed 2 engine and Assassin's Creed 2 was fairly well put together but for some reason this, the parkour is flat out broken in so many places it's just an absolute mess and I remember, I remember, I remember I think the very first time I did this I came back to it later and I had like, um, not just poison, but I had poison that I could like throw from a distance or something. And I used that to lead the guys out. Something like that. You see, the thing I found out is, if I go around the corner oh, here, no, I pick a fight with these guys, the captain does one. And he gets away. And I didn't realise straight away, and I couldn't remember the button. So I was like, how do I get away from this bitch? And then by the time I got around this corner, he's gone. Away, away with the fairies, away into another dimension. Like, well, then. So I just decided to just let myself die. I think. Wait, did I let myself die? Or did I restart this one? I might have just restarted. There was another one where something similar happened and I just let myself die. This Disarm the dude. For some reason, he just wouldn't. 
attack, so he just stood there. He even taunted him. He still just stood there as that. I don't want anything to do with you bitches. Oh, come on, man. Punch him. I wanted to weaken him a little bit so he could attack me and I could steal his sword, but he just wasn't going for it. So. Yeah. Oh, that. I figured something out about that as well. The lock on thing. I've noticed if you just tap it, it seems to act kind of like it's um, a hold. It, the, the game just sort of dirts out, so I found it. If I hold the button, if I hold the trigger down for like a half second or so, there you go, so I'm it. If I hold the trigger down for a second or two, more than half a second really, then it, it locks on consistently. I've tested that. You'll actually hear me talking about that later on. had a pretty good couple of weeks personally. I have a brand new baby. She's absolutely beautiful. She looks so much like her mother. So much like her mother. It's um, more, her skin tone's more like mine. Because for those who don't know, I'm quite pale. Um, Caucasian. I have that Nordic ancestry, whereas my wife is, yeah, she's Filipino and she's quite tanned. Um, not like really dark tan, but she does have she definitely has some almost brown olive, you know, an olive brownishness to her skin. And even his own was somewhere in between. <laughs> My mother, when we were in the hospital, came in one time and said, Is she a bit jaundiced? Her mother's Asian. No, she's not jaundiced. Racist grandma. Ish. I was trying to figure out the, uh, yeah. I thought I'd try throwing knives at them. He doesn't throw them for some reason, even though you're locked on. It's, that, that little symbol at the top there is supposed to be that if, you, if they're at a distance, you'll throw the daggers. The throwing knives. Anyway, yeah, I got the bit there. And my wife bought me some stuff for Christmas, which I don't usually care for, but this was for the first time like, ever I was actually excited for Kringle. I got, um, I got a new cup, a Disney cup, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's absolutely amazing. It's my favourite of the Disney princess, as you say. I just need a Tim Spell one now, and my life will be complete. And um, couldn't come at a better time either, because I was using one for about 10 years. Uh, as a Spider Man cool, actually. And um, on Spider Man 3, instance. And that was um, a broke a while back. I glued it, but just a little picky on the other day. The, the bit that had been glued on just came off, so she let me have my. My bell cup a little bit early. She also got me two more volumes of the K on manga. So I now have the complete collection of K on, which is only four volumes, quite small as well. But I also have the single volume spin off K on oh. College. So now all I'm missing is K on High School, and I have everything K on. But I don't have everything, I don't have like figures and stuff like that. I mean, I have all the. I have all the anime already, I have all, I all the seasons of the anime and the, um, the film, and um, I have almost all the manga now, just one more, I have the blue manga collection. Sad really, all more chaos. I love chaos, one of my favourites. It's not my favourite favourite, that's fine. It's far and away, fine and is the best anime. And I think always will be. I won't say it's the best of all time because I don't know if you've noticed this yet that or anything, but time hasn't ended yet. Hence me saying to date ever named. That suggests outright implies things that came before. Yeah, we're trying to weaken him a little bit there so I could disarm him. Dead bitches. Don't worry. I do mostly stick to that thing of um, only killing enough dudes to get back my medicines and stuff. I sometimes kill up one or two more just to make absolutely certain because they lose track of how many medicine I've lost. There have been many an occasion where I'm sure I've only used one and then I've gone and looted something and got like two and I'm like. I know it's. I don't know. I know it's. I don't know. Okay, say so. 
Well, I found something else out about these as well. I thought that you could only do um, two uh, two kills in a row, but if you keep a, a, a thing going like that, um, a combo, you can actually. Oh, here we go. This wild thing. Keep a combo going. You can actually go for longer. The bridge was built. To, the bridge was built to cross the Tiver from the city centre to Hadrian's freshly completed mausoleum, which later became the uh, Castel Sant'Angelo. In 1450, its balustrades buckled due to a surging mob of pilgrims making their way to the Basilica San Pietro, leading to a mass drowning. Later in the 16th century, the structure was used to deploy the bodies, uh, display the bodies of executed men to the public. Is it just me, or was this bridge not particularly cheery? The Ponte Sant'Angelo. Yeah, I was reading that a little bit faster just to make sure that I got it in time because I won't necessarily read at the exact same speed I read it last time. Anyway, that was it. I must have gone off on some random tangent here because there were a couple of them where I did that. Can't for the life of me remember what I was talking about. I've been to sleep since then. I've had a cup of tea since then. I've had eggs on toast since then. That's boiled eggs, by the way, on toast. Really tasty dindins. Just boil some eggs, make some toast, crush the egg into the bread, into the toast, put a bit of salt and pepper, Nom nom nom. It's carbohydrate and protein. Just what a growing boy needs. Yeah, there are a lot of bridges in Rome, aren't there? Hmm. No, it's not the cherry at all. Anyway, yes, I always thought that if you, you could only get like one or two um, kills with the with the big weapons, I think it might be that you can only get one or two execution um, counter kills with them. A combo going. You can go indefinitely. I never knew that. I've only just found that out. I don't see. I don't usually go for the um, the combo very much. I do still like that much. I don't usually go for the combos that much. I tend to wait for them to come to me so that I can reduce the amount of. Um, that one is very I don't know why I'm being more aggressive this time around, but it seems to be working out for me. Maybe it's just that I'm more confident with the system, as in the, the gameplay system, not the, the, um, not the game system. I'm definitely confident with the PC. Oh, yes, it's a dude Oh, yeah, I remember that. He ran over, dragged that woman down off the horse, and then just came wandering back. He's like, nope, I'm not going to use the horse after all. I was like, hey, dude, you want to do that? You do that. You want to be a dude? Be a dude. Yeah. I want to be dude. Dude man, wait. Did I not climb up and ignite the tower? Right, okay, I am going back for it. So I remember one of them, I, I sure had gone to it and ignited it, and then I went back and it was, the tower was still, was still there. And I was like, ooh. No, I did ignite it. I was just going to get some medicine. Um, I only picked up one. I used two, didn't I? So that means that it'll be one of those points later where I'll be I'll have been sure that I've only used one, but I actually looted an extra one. Okay, on this occasion, I guess I've just used one. I thought. It, it can be difficult to keep track sometimes when you're in the evening. Yeah, eat some bit. I don't know how you eat it. I've noticed that most of these larger towers are um, synchronization points as well. Like this. I could hear a noise when I was climbing this one as well that sounded like a chest or a flag or something. I thought that might have been. Uh, but I, I think it's just that the top of the tower starts. Can you hear it? I think it's just the top of the tower that makes those noises and I just hadn't properly noticed it before. Or I'd noticed and forgotten. I've been playing this a bit scattershot lately. I've been wondering how I'm going to go about doing this, because a lot of me really wants to go and do everything, but at the same time that would be a massive undertaking. And we'd end up splitting this into two parts, two sets of six videos. So, when I say 100% sync, description and stuff. I don't mean that I'm going to get absolutely everything. I'm going to 100% complete the game. That's why, I'm, that's why I specifically wrote 100% sync, which I know it kind of means the same thing. What I mean by that is I'll get 100% sync in all of the missions that I do. 
some of them I might not get first time around and have to redo like I did with that um, um, Romulus place. But I will make sure that I get 100% sync on them. Whether I'm going to do like missions. I'll try to. This is one of those that just leaving me all over the bloody place. It wasn't as bad as some of them. But they, they do get really frustrating. Oh no, broken legs! <laughs> I'm definitely going to do some of the side quests, evidence by the fact that I have. I'll do the, what I consider to be the major ones. I'll do the ones for Leonardo, I'll do some of the ones for like the courtesans and the thieves and stuff, and see them later. I don't do that. I'll 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 do that. Uh, do some of the assassinations, that kind of thing. But I'm mostly going to try and stick to doing predominantly the main story. Because if I do that, the game's actually finishable in about four to eight hours. Depending on how quickly you run through it or whether you skip through the course. Uh, San Giovanni di Fiorentino. Once completed, San Giovanni became the National Church of Florence in Rome. Pope Leo X initiated an architectural competition in 1508 for a new church to be built in place of the old Saint uh, Saint Pantaleo. The winning architect went by the name of S Santavino, but there were complications and construction slowed ground to a halt. Many different people tried to finish the church over two centuries, and it was finally completed in 1734. That Pantaleo reminded me of the fact that it was, it was Barbarigo, wasn't it? Um, yeah, he married somebody who had the same name as him, I'm sure it was, and Sean said that there was a veritable doppelganger, because his wife's Pantasilea, isn't it? Or Pantasilia. Anyway, there's something to be said for the efficiency of a dictatorship, although the death toll accompanying one is a little unsettling. Hey, if it works... Why, wait, what? Well, well, actually look at the Marvel comics before they went shit, for an example of what dictatorships can do. Victor Von Doom is a dictator. He's also well loved because there's no crime, no poverty, no hunger, barely any disease. Um, Latveria, the nation he rules, he looks after his people. The only thing he requires is that they like, Eesh. oh yes, the heavy pouch. I, to I decided I was going to start saving up for that, and then I was like, hmm, I could change the colour of my clothes because my clothes is. I was just checking the assassin, my one is free. Because closies make me have a closie ones. I went with that one because I think it makes him look kind of like Robin Hood. Yep. And, um... Did I decide to? Yeah, I just went... No, I didn't know what was wrong with that one, though. One of the changing my clothing later on is one where I decided to do both of them properly. Oh, so I've got the same thing. You you know, and the crimson, I've got also got the crimson cloak. I like mixing and matching those all the time. Make a, oh, yeah. a um, make a statement. Right. After all that, I finally started getting back, and I was like, right, I'll actually do the thing at the brothel now. But I figured, fuck it, I'll get, I'll stop here and get some stuff from here first because, because. Yeah, I'm saving my money, I said. So I'm going to buy a bunch of stuff I do. Yeah, I bought that one because you're still like, mm-hmm. That dip face. Oh, there's one with a baby. Pleasure. That I get later on. I can't remember whether that's before or after the commentary um, comes back, though. Oh, God. Anyway, yes, remember that? I was talking about with the brothel. I said I'll do it in the next episode. Well, instead of that, I said at the end of the last episode that I was going to do it in this episode. But instead, here I am doing it at the end of this episode so you know but hey at least welcome to the rose and fiore stranger yeah. salve would you be kind enough to the call the owner for where you find out Madonna what it is that was actually going on in. about do you know where she is she's sucking I... some dicks I like those a Lucia. I know that they we were, thought you um, were gone for good. The men took us on a ship wow. and they released me, but she, she has who took you on a ship? On her, um, like Slave traders, Missere, near Isola Tiberina. They want coin in exchange for her life. 